All right, so let's talk a little bit about C Sharp. So what is C Sharp and what is .NET? Well, that's a good question, and also the question is why should we care? Well, C Sharp is a fantastic language. It's an object-oriented language that is from Microsoft, but it's being spread out to other platforms and other companies are adopting it. It's up for ECMA standards. It's going to be a standardized way of programming. It's a great language. And this language really combines the power of working with C++ with the ease of working with Visual Basic and Java. Java can be a fun language to program in, but C Sharp is even more fun because it is working within that .NET framework, and that is a very powerful combination. It's natively created to support .NET, so it's working from the ground up to support .NET. C Sharp is based on C++, and it also contains features similar to Java, but it also has some C functionality as well built into it. So it's really a modern language that is taking advantage of all that new technology, and it's really come to the top there. Java, for instance, was a fantastic solution. It still is a fantastic solution, but C Sharp is even more modern, and it's able to take care of some things that Java doesn't take care of, and it also is very easy to program, and I hope you look forward to getting into C Sharp. The .NET framework is a code library, and this sits underneath all .NET enabled applications. This really makes rapid application development of really highly portable code. It makes it extremely possible and highly realistic. This is what you're going to be doing, rapid application development. The next version of Windows, codenamed Longhorn, which is coming out in 2006, this is going to be extremely necessary to work with the .NET framework because all of that .NET framework is being pushed into this particular operating system to take advantage of it to make sure that the programmers are actually working within a certain framework, but they're creating fast, optimized code, and it's going to be a lot easier for everybody to program in. So working with C Sharp, which is the native language, this is even better than working with Visual Basic .NET, for example. With C Sharp, you're going to be able to do a lot more things that Visual Basic .NET doesn't necessarily do so elegantly within the language. C Sharp is extremely elegant and it's also just the way to go. With C Sharp, you're going to be able to actually understand Java code as well. So it makes it very easy for Java programmers to come over. And it also allows you to be able to program in different environments, like with Flash or with Java, for example, because that language is very close. The Java type languages are very, very close and easy to work within. This framework also contains optimized building blocks of code that are really standardized to work with XML and SOAP, as you're going to see. XML is everywhere, and within .NET, this is extremely, extremely useful and popular, and it really just blows my mind how much XML is actually being taken care of within this particular framework. So it's a joy to work with it. Now, a couple things about C Sharp, a little bit more in detail. C Sharp is really designed to work with the .NET platform, like I said. It's native for the .NET platform as a language. Even though .NET is language independent, you can work with over 30 languages. Many different languages work with .NET. Even COBOL works within .NET. But there are more features that you will like and you'll understand and you'll want to take advantage of. And this is as far as enabling the distributed and mobile computing. This is going to be highly effective within .NET, and C Sharp takes advantage of that in great detail. So if you're doing anything with with PDAs or portable computers or anything that needs distributed computing, it's all been optimized for .NET. The future of rich media connected internet applications, like I said, the next version of Windows, that is going to be extremely rich with video, with vector graphics, all types of things that you will have very easy access to, to be able to create outstanding products with these because it's so much easier and faster to develop within C Sharp and .NET. You're going to be able to bridge the exchange of information and services over the web. It's very easy to get connected with .NET connectivity to the internet, to websites, to web services. It's all very, very easy to get started within C Sharp and .NET. And it really makes your creativity explode if you want to be creative because the programming isn't going to take you years and years to get it done. You can even compete with the big shot giant companies that are doing so many wonderful things themselves but as a smaller developer or a smaller team, you can really compete with that level of large enterprise. And enables developers to build highly portable applications. Extremely portable, over 
operating systems. Right now, more focused on, on the Windows operating system, but it's going to be very, very portable in the near future, and you need to take advantage of that. That's something that you really want to get involved with, because once other operating systems take advantage of .NET, and once you're able to really just take your application and get it onto so many different platforms, for example, then you're really going to shine within .NET. But the portability is you just take your application and the supporting files, and you just drag it or copy it to another user's machine, and that's really the real advantage of portability, which we're going to discuss in the .NET section. So it's portable across the different machines that you're going to be able to get this to. It's not going to have any conflicts. And in the near future, it's going to be portable across platforms, and that's really going to open things up for you. So jump in. C-sharp, the way to go.